Trump's not going to beat Biden. But he could. And yeah. I think we don't want 2016 happening again where we're... He already beat him in 2020, and he beat him by a lot. He'll beat him again. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So is Joy Behar basically hoping that Joe Biden dies in office before actually being removed? In disgrace the question is this let's say joe biden god forbid dies in office now remember i just did a video on the view talking about how joe biden really isn't that old that the only reason that people even believe that he's old believe that he's out of step is because the lying evil democracy murdering republicans told them he's old so so which is it is he a young spry and really really good on a bicycle like sonny said or do we really have to worry Every morning, if today is the day that we wake up to President Kamala Harris. Let's say Joe Biden, God forbid, dies in office. Is that, isn't that still okay for the country? The country will survive it. But if Trump wins, the country will not survive it. So listen to what this wacky lady is saying, man. She's saying that we can survive our current allegedly corrupt president dying and handing over control of the country to a woman who can't even wear shoes with laces. But... If we're going to survive that, but if Donald Trump legitimately wins round two in office, then we're toast. And th this craziness, you know, when these kinds of people tell you exactly what it is that they believe, it really does. It's a perfect example of why the left is willing to do or say literally anything that they have to, regardless of law, regardless of morality, regardless of the Constitution. None of that matters. They will do and say anything that they have to do to stop Donald Trump from being president. They will tear down everything just to save whatever's left after they're done. And Joy, this is why that saying, don't get high on your own supply, should 100% also apply to state-approved propagandists. That's a fact. That's only if you see it. But I guess I, I don't see the world yeah. in such black and white terms of just like, oh, listen, once he's the nominee, we can talk about it that way. He I'm still be, praying and dreaming that there's another option out there or something is going to make him. Trump I refuse, is kicking all their butts I know, I just refused, I over there. I refuse to accept that this country is going to elect an indicted multi-time criminal. Yeah, we absolutely do support the guy. And, it, and it's important to remember that we didn't cause this. He didn't cause this. The Democrats have manufactured all this junk to destroy reputations, destroy credibility, and almost every thinking person, even the ones that support these actions, they know that they're politically motivated. Everybody agrees. There's just those of us that believe that it's absolutely wrong, and then there's those of us that believe it's justified. And I'm accept hoping it, it could happen. Well, you don't know but, until okay, it happens. I will accept that, but we also need to be realistic that Trump could yeah, be Biden. That's scary so if you listen close there man you see that they're actually it's awesome they're starting to almost be honest with themselves you know just a short time ago they were convinced or at least pretending to be convinced for their mushy brain audience that trump can't win the general election well now they're almost certain that he's going to win the general election and they are freaking terrified trump's not gonna beat biden but he could and yeah. i think we don't want 2016 happening again where we're he already beat him in 2020 and he beat him by a lot he'll beat him again guys look directly in her eyes here she doesn't believe that for a second anyway guys that's just my take let me know yours in the comments if you haven't already please make sure to like comment subscribe most importantly share the channel we'll see you in the next one